Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a little maintenance on our laser, just some cleanup. Um, basically, on this is a 40 watt. I think the new 15 watts the same thing to fix lens and the um, the uh, adjustable lens. Uh, we wouldn't recommend you actually taking the, the the lens out. You can use the same procedure just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, take some of the soot off of it. I happen to have an air assist on mine and I want to clean it up because I've been doing lots of cutting with it and it's kind of a little yucky. Um, and you can kind of see this is as well. I got some cleanup I need to do. So the first thing real quick I want to show you is depending on what you have, how to get your laser off, um, there's like multiple different setups now. Um, just as uh, a basic, you know, without disassembling the whole Z-axis unit, it, um, there's the two bottom screws, so those should be accessible on almost all of the uh, setups um, for the one with the Z-axis. If you if you um, turn the knob and the Z-axis and actually scroll down, you'll be able to access the bottom ones easily. <clears throat> but there's another set um, a little bit ways up, and what I do is take, uh, you see the bottom holes here, you go through the back plate, there should be a slot right on the back um, the clear plate go right through that um, and right through this hole and it should come right out what you're going to do is you're going to raise and lower your air assist up and down until you get to that screw and then just unscrew it that's going to be easy, be the easiest thing to get it off for those top two i'll recommend doing the top two first this way it doesn't just fall off but and it's going to be the same process putting it back on as it is taking it off so <clears throat> That's how I got mine off. Hopefully that will help you to get yours off without having to disassemble everything. So let's get started. Um, like I said, regular rubbing alcohol is what I'm using for cleaning up the lens. Now, um, there is one thing I want to mention is I would prefer to clean up the outside first, get it all cleaned up this way that once you've done the inside, you rub the outside, you don't want to rub it, push it back inside again. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little rubbing alcohol on this rag. Um, you can use microfiber, let that sit on there. You can use a, a paper towel, whatever you see fit to use. Um, on the outside here, you can, on the outside, you can just use Windex if you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend using it on the, li on the lens itself, but um, you know, this does build up more than what you think, especially, I'm just cleaning all the different outside body of mine and then I'm rubbing right on the, um, the copper part there and then all around it, really, really good. As you see, I got quite a bit off. Um, it's kind of dirty. So there is that. Now, one of the things, um, you know, we recommend putting a Q-tip in. If you're gonna notice, it's this big Q-tip is just not gonna jam right in there. So um, there's a couple things. The first thing I'm gonna say is I'm gonna pour a little bit in the cap here. Let me just pour. Just a little bit. I mean, it's like very, very, very little bit. So I'm just going to wet it a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of just put it in there and then swirl it like that. As you can see, I got some yummies in mine. Pretty dirty. Now don't go right back in with it because you're just going to put the, the stuff right back in it. Go to the other end, get a little bit wet. Just put it in, swirl it, spin it to the right a little bit. Take it back out. You can see this one's pretty clean. Now I'm gonna actually do it with another one, but this one, I'm actually gonna just swirl it in my hand for a second. I want, I personally want to take a little bit of this off because I can't get in there like I want. I want to get in there nice and flat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it off, but you're definitely gonna leave some on there for sure. And make sure it's on there. Spin it back the other way now to the, uh, uh, was it clockwise to make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want any loose pieces. Nice and tight. So it's just smaller. You can see it's just smaller so that I can actually get in there a little better. I'm going to wet it and then I'm going to put it in there and you'll see it actually going a little farther left, right, left, right. Wow. Look at the difference now with me doing that. So um, I'm actually going to do that again now. As you can see, when you push, the Q-tip doesn't go all the way in. So when you take a little bit off, you see the difference in it. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I don't want to shove that back in there. I'm going to get it dirty again. But this is how I used to clean all of my um, all my electronics back in the day. So this one's actually better. As you can see, this one came off better. You can see the difference. 
smaller, thinner, and just tighten with this. Just kind of like make sure it's nice and tight. And then that there, so you're just getting it thinner, get it wet, put it inside there. And you'll see now it goes all the way in, but do not push hard. You're just lightly putting it in there, swirling, light, put it in and swirling. And now as you can see, it's coming pretty clean. I'm gonna do it one more time. Um, only turn it clockwise. I would not recommend do unclockwise because it's gonna uncoil it. I just personally like to go one way like that. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna grab another one and I'm actually going to take a little bit off of this one and I'm gonna leave this one dry. Just wanna make sure that it's dry. A little bit thinner, put it in there. Whoops, if you see any pieces, like there's a little piece right there that happens to get snagged in there, um, just take it off with your finger. And then this I'm putting in there and um, it's dry. And I'm, I'm doing it again and again and as you can see, it's pretty clean now, pretty good. And then I'm gonna wipe this off, just wipe that, and then put the dry end back in there again. Just to make sure we got anything in there. Just give it a good blow in there, make sure it's cleared off, and that's pretty darn good, as you can see. That's all you really need to do. If you have a can of compressed air, you know, you're more than welcome to blow it in there. Don't, you don't need to blow it in there hard. You definitely don't need to go out to your garage and get a big compressor. Um, but let that dry. Definitely make sure that you use the dry, uh, the dry part because, you know, when if, if you ever use Windex or rubbing alcohol on something and you don't get it all the way off really good, sometimes it'll leave that little smear per se. And, and I don't know, I just personally don't like to have that on there. But um, so that is for the rubbing alcohol and pour that back in there. Now for the air assist, I'm gonna use just some Windex and a rag. You see, that's pretty nasty. That's pretty much for your laser. Um, that is really all you need to do. Um, at this point, you can put it back together and um, get back to work. Um, same thing, um, if you putting it back together, do the opposite way of, of what I had mentioned. Um, maybe put the bottom ones in first so it holds it stable for you so when you get the other screws in there, it's not gonna be the easiest to do. Um, maybe use like a pair of needle nose or just take you know take it apart if you have to, but that is how you clean it. And I'm just gonna use some Windex on my air assist here. Regular Windex, or regular, oops, window cleaner, that's all I have. And my air assist, I bet you, look at that. Now you know that's dirty. I use this thing so much, I'm telling you. So wipe that down, get that off good. Make sure you rub it on the ends real good where the holes are. Wouldn't be a bad idea to blow through it. Like so, clean it really good. Yeah, look how much I got off of that. That's pretty good, whoops. So yeah, definitely do. And you don't need to go crazy on this. It's just a good wipe down. There's um, nothing really in it. If you find that you have any soot build up inside, um, you could actually use a Q-tip, go right in there and clean it out. And oh wow, there you go. So there answered that question. So yeah, let's let's do that. Clean that through there, and then yeah, that one cleaned out quite a bit. So that's that. And then same thing. Air assist goes back on the same way it came off. And that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions. Um, let me know and we'll go from there.